Now there is plenty of audiophile grade sound equipment out there that promises a super realistic experience, but let's face it, it is pretty darn hard to fool your ears into thinking that you're listening to something live as opposed to a recording or a stream, even if you did blow your life savings on some amazing headphones or speakers. But believe it or not, there's actually a relatively old and fairly straightforward technology that can surpass even the most ridiculous surround sound speaker setups in terms of spatial realism. I'm talking, of course, about binaural recording. But what is that? And how does it fool our brains into thinking we are right in the middle of a scene? Well, it helps to keep in mind exactly how your ears work. When you hear any kind of sound, let's say it's your pet doing its best Nyan Cat impression from down the hall, the sound waves are going to arrive at your ears at slightly different times, and they'll also be slightly louder in one ear than the other. Your brain takes these minute differences and processes them to figure out exactly where the noise is coming from. Binaural audio takes advantage of this fact by recording an audio track in the first place in a way that mimics our natural hearing. The idea itself is actually very simple. To create a binaural recording, two high fidelity microphones are placed about roughly the same distance apart as your ears from each other. Some recording studios even embed the mics inside of a dummy human head, complete with realistic ears, to get an even more accurate sound imaging, and bippity boppity, the result is an amazingly accurate reproduction of ambient sound that fools your brain into thinking the noises are really happening around you. And since the concept behind binaural recording is so simple, it was thought of long before the advent of modern digital audio. In fact, it was first introduced for telephones all the way back in the 1880s, but didn't become more common until fairly recently thanks to the falling prices of both recording equipment and headphones. Yes. Headphones only. You cannot use this on your freestanding speakers because of the way the recordings are made. Remember, the microphones are placed right where your ears would be. The effect is nearly impossible to duplicate on regular speakers. But the good news is that you at least don't need super high-end headphones powered by some exotic tube amplifier to enjoy the effect. A cheap pair of earbuds will actually do the trick just nicely. Well, that's all fine and well, Linus, then, but so where can I I hear this binaural stuff. I mean, I don't really see a whole lot of it on Spotify. Although it is still pretty hard to find in music and movies, various producers and musicians have been experimenting with it, and a large community has popped up on YouTube around binaural recordings, featuring everything from music to walking tours of New York City to mm -hmm. virtual barber shops that are actually kind of creepy. <laughs> it's a very weird experience. But if you're not into random, not novelty YouTube videos, I totally get that, and if you're waiting for binaural audio being part of your everyday listening experience, if you're a gamer, you'll be pleased to know that the future looks very bright because virtual reality game developers are seriously pursuing the use of binaural sound in headsets such as the Oculus Rift and Sony's Project Morpheus. Except instead of just using two microphones, VR developers are experimenting with rings of microphones on dummy heads to create a true 360 degree binaural sound experience that is preserved no matter which way you turn wearing your head mounted display. And as virtual reality technology continues to mature, game publishers will seek more and more interesting ways to achieve full immersion in 3D sound. And our ears may be in for just as much of a treat as our eyes. You know what's a word for things you can hear? All this talking about listening? Audible! So head over to audible.com slash techquickie and you guys can check out their vast selection of audiobooks. It is all about joining the club. So you get one audiobook per month, which you can listen to on your phone or your MP3 player if you still have one of those, in your car, or wherever it is that you've got a little bit of time to sit and listen to a book, but not necessarily the time to sit and stare at one. And it entitles you to all kinds of other cool stuff like discounts on further audiobooks. You can check out all kinds of cool stuff. I usually pick something from the bestsellers like The Martian by Andy Weir and narrated by R.C. Ray. It's a story of like a 
astronaut, a man who assumes he'll be the first to die on Mars after he is stranded by a dust storm that forces his crew to evacuate. Very cool stuff. Anyway, guys, that's audible.com slash techwiki to join the club now. Those of you who have, are still watching this show and have managed to not sign up for Audible yet. Oh yeah, and did I mention the first month and therefore your first audiobook is absolutely free? Yes, it is free. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future videos. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all of that noise. And I know I've been teasing this one for a while. Actually, no, I'll tease something else. We have a new channel, Super Fun, that is not dildo racing. We paint my car, which seemed like a good idea to someone, I guess. Check that out at the link up there.